Hello everyone. How are you people of God? It is Lakedra and I am excited about coming on, sharing with you all some powerful nuggets and remind you all again of what the word of God says. You know, every day we have to hear it over and over and remind ourselves what did God say? If we are going to stay on that path and remain focused, we have to keep renewing our minds by hearing and hearing again what thus said the Lord. And so that's what I have come on here to do, people of God. Remind you all again on what thus says the Lord concerning this journey that you all are on, standing for your marriage and your family to be restored, and the salvation of your spouse, and whatever else you are believing God for. So thank you all so much for coming on, joining with me all. Thank you for your support, your prayers, and all of your encouragement. It is such a blessing to me. Now I want you all to remember, again, what Deuteronomy tells us concerning the curse of the law. There are things you are seeing in your marriage right now that you should not be seeing. You people of God who have been redeemed from the curse. There are things you are supposed to be resisting. Saying no to the enemy. The devil. The adversary. The one who is out to steal, kill, and destroy. You are to resist him. There are things that you are witnessing in your marriage you are to stand against because you are blessed. Seeing anything that is a sign of the curse, you say no to it. You go back and remember what Jesus done for you because if you don't stand up and be bold, the enemy will try to run over you and test you and he will try to come in and steal and take whatever he can if you are not walking in wisdom he comes against us through ignorance he comes through any door that he see open but the word of God is able to bring you to the knowledge of truth and it is that truth that will set you free and so let us look again in Deuteronomy concerning the curse of the law Meaning what was pronounced on all of humanity because of the fall that happened in the Garden of Eden. Sin traveled throughout the earth and that brought a curse, but it spread it from Adam and Eve. But Jesus redeemed us from the curse. And so any signs you see that resembles the curse based off of what the word of God says you have a right to stand up and go back to what Jesus has done for you and so this is a battle we all are in and I want us to take a look at it again of what Deuteronomy tells us concerning the curse in marriages the word of God tells us in Deuteronomy chapter 28 I want to start in verse 54 concerning the man how he will be against his wife it tells us in verse 54 so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom bosom and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave and so if you are seeing where the father of your children have even walked away and your marriage has come to the place to where it has fallen apart and you see wives your husband has turned against you and and there is evil evil in the midst of your marriage this is proof that it is 
a sign of the curse, but you are to resist the enemy and go back to what Jesus Christ has done for you. And we're going to get into that in just a moment. But also it talks about even the wife down in verse 56, how she will turn against her husband. So men of God, if you are experiencing this, just know that this is what you must stand against. You who are joined with Christ Jesus, you have been redeemed from the curse. And the enemy has come in to try you. He has gotten in some kind of way, but you resist him. God has given you authority, people of God, to stand against all the works of the devil. But then it tells us in verse 56, it says, The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure, to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. So we see this division. We see this breakup in the home and family. We see husband and wife turning against one another all because of the curse but the word of God tells us in Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 it says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree so because Christ was hung up on the cross that came from the tree he became a curse for us and so what the enemy meant for evil it was for good when the gentiles got a hold of our lord jesus christ meaning the roman soldiers through the hands and all because of the jews who set it up it was to set us all free so what the enemy meant for evil, it was for our good. Yes, the Jew and the Gentile came together and hung up our Lord. But guess what? We all was a part of it too. Because it was because of all, all of our wrongdoings. But Jesus came to reverse the curse for us. Our Lord Jesus Christ suffered, bled, and died for us to reverse the curse that we will receive the blessing the Bible says that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith and we know that where the Spirit of the Lord is the Bible tells us there is liberty there is freedom there is the life of Christ there is forgiveness righteousness we are joined with Christ with the Holy Spirit being in our life who has set us free is a guarantee that we are the children of God so the curse cannot come on those that are blessed and because you are blessed people of God your spouse who is joined with you the one you are standing in the gap for your family members that you are standing in the gap for your household they will be blessed through you who are in Christ Jesus this was the will and the plan of God for your life and what does that blessing now looks like in our marriage remember it tells us again in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 31 here is the blessing now that we all have received because of Christ as the scriptures say a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife and the two are united into one so it's no longer now the curse where a husband is showing evil towards his wife and the wife showing evil towards her husband and the father walks away from his children he's against his own brother and he's against the brethren and and the wife is against her children you know this has been reversed through our lord jesus christ all because of the holy spirit coming in and renewing hearts bringing salvation and deliverance 
drawing us back to Christ, bringing deliverance in the life of that spouse of yours by your faith, by you standing on the word of God. Remember, as Peter tells us in 1 Peter chapter 5, he tells us in verse 8, stay alert, watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that your Christian brothers and sisters all over the world are going through the same kind of suffering you are. And then it says in verse 10, in his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore, support and strengthen you and he will place you on a firm foundation. All power to him forever amen and so yes there is suffering there is hardship but you will see restoration people of God you will be renewed you will see that strength God is strengthening you God is placing you on a firm foundation you will see the manifestations of God's word coming to pass in your life because of what Christ done for you for you but it comes through having faith Peter tells us you resist the enemy by your faith remember that he says you stand firm against him and be strong in your faith and so that means believing in the word of God that's how you stand strong against him and Paul even tells us resist the devil by putting on the whole arm of God he tells us to take on us the whole arm of God, which is the word of God. We take the sword of the spirit and we resist the enemy with our words that are coming forth out of our mouths. That the Lord has given us and put in our mouths from the written word of God. The word of God is a sword. And this is how you resist the devil. You stand your ground by standing up for what Christ done for you. And speaking the truth. Saying no devil, no curse can be on my marriage. I've been redeemed from the curse. I have been bought with a price. My marriage shall illustrate Christ and the church united into one flesh. Remember that's what the word of God tells us in Ephesians chapter 5. Verse 32, this is a great mystery, but it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. Talking about when a man is joined to his wife and the two are one flesh. It is an illustration. It is to show forth the glory of God and the church united into one. So again, Paul says, I say each man must love his wife as he loves himself and the wife must respect her husband and so Paul is saying you who are now under the blessing and not under the curse who have been redeemed from the curse of the law there must be an illustration of Christ in that marriage because the power of God has set you free if there is faith there will be deliverance there will be manifestation there will be the things that God has promised and yes, we are in that place where there is suffering for a while. But in the end, people of God, God's word is showing us. You will see restoration by standing your ground, though. By standing firm in your faith, not wavering. Not wavering, but holding on to the truth. Hallelujah, for it is that truth that sets you free. And so your marriage, your marriage precious standards has been healed, has been redeemed. There is coming great and mighty things your way. You have the scriptures. You have the truth. And so we don't look to the left or to the right. 
we keep our eyes on the Lord, on his word. We are to think now on things that are true and lovely and of a good report. Things that are excellent. Things that are worthy of praise. And this is how the God of peace. And restoration will be with you, people of God, keeping your hearts and your minds, helping you wait patiently and strong and victoriously until the promises are fulfilled in your life. Yes, you're going to have to put up a fight by taking the word of God, telling the devil where to go, telling the devil what, what is the truth. Hallelujah. Keeping yourself as well encouraged. Meditate on the word day and night so you will keep yourself standing strong because hearing the word brings strength and comfort, faith. It keeps you focused and meditating on what God says and not the things that you are seeing around you. I'm telling you, it will satisfy your soul. Keep renewing your mind by reminding yourself of what God has done for you already. You have already been healed, delivered, and set free precious standards. You're not waiting for Christ to come back and do anything. He has already done it for you over 2,000 years ago. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we were healed. We are healed. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 tells us and so that's all you see throughout the scriptures of Jesus coming to save deliver and set free and that's what happened when he was hung up on the cross it is finished and so you stand precious standards you have overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb which is our Lord Jesus Christ and by the word of God, the word of our testimony, the word of what we know is the truth, the word that has been revealed to us as we studied the scriptures, we know the truth now. That is how you are overcoming the devil, by having your faith in God, by standing on what Christ has done for you. Your marriage has already been healed. Wait for that promise to be fulfilled in your life. It is so. It has been written. Hallelujah. We just praise the Lord for what he has done for us. It is already finished. The devil cannot change it. He cannot stop it. It has happened over 2,000 years ago. He has already been defeated. Praise the Lord. And so we're going to pray and rejoice and declare the word of God. Hallelujah. Give God all the praise. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah for what is coming our way. Draw with me, people of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Thank you for setting the captives free, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for healing us. Giving us the victory over the enemy. Causing the curse to be reversed. Through what Christ Jesus done for us. Who became a curse for us. Thank you for delivering us. Oh, Lord God, from the curse of the law. That brought division in marriages and homes and people's health and and things that happen that brought lack and poverty oh lord thank you for redeeming us from all these things we now have the blessing and you tell us to believe we've received them and they shall be ours you say they shall be yours and so we receive them thank you jesus already in advance Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We stand on this truth. Thank you, Lord God. We call forth our marriages right now. We say you are healed. You are an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. We are joined with our spouse in Jesus' name. And we declare and decree that our husbands shall love us wives as their own bodies. And wives shall be submitted unto their husbands and everything. We shall honor them as they love us as their own bodies thank you lord god for restoring us thank you lord god for breaking the power of the devil through the word of god our lord jesus christ who became flesh thank you lord god hallelujah no weapon that is formed against us can prosper 
We have defeated the devil. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We claim the victory. We call it forth in Jesus' name. We command our marriages now. Begin to line up according to the word of God. Come forth speedily. In Jesus' name, we command the lines of communications to be open in Jesus' name. We bind every hindering spirit. We command you to flee. We resist you now. We bind the spirit that has come in to bring in divorce and separation and bring in the curse. We bind you in Jesus' name. We have been redeemed. By the blood of the Lamb. Get out in the name of Jesus. Satan get behind us. Get out every witchcraft. Every spirit of sorcery. Get out in Jesus name. All the works of the devil. We cast them out of our marriages. We cast them out of our homes. Our families. In Jesus name. We call forth salvation. We call forth the fruits of the spirit. Which is love. Joy. Peace. Hallelujah. Meekness long-suffering, temperance, patience, goodness, hallelujah, and self-control. Thank you, Lord God. We have the Spirit of the Lord in us. Praise your name. Thank you for freedom in every area of our life. We stand on this truth. We bind the works of the devil. We have been redeemed, and we command every work of the enemy to bow in Jesus' name. We command every work of the enemy to flee from us. We call you destroyed. We call you cursed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior. Our Redeemer. From all evil. Thank you Lord God. Praise your holy name. Hallelujah. And Father God. Thank you for the precious standards. Also Lord God that has. Given their precious gifts. Into your work. Lord bless the works of their hands. Thank you for every one of them Lord. Thank you, Lord. May you multiply that seed for whatever they are believing for. May it return back to them 100 fold. Lord, we bless you in advance. And thank you for everyone that has joined me with support and their prayers and their encouragement. Each and every one of them. Lord, we thank you and give you the praise. And all the people of God, we declare your word. And all the people of God says, Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord, that our marriages and homes are healed. They are delivered and set free. Thank you for salvation in our household. Hallelujah. And in the lives of our spouse. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Remember, precious standards. The Lord loves you. And I love you too. Keep standing on the word of God. It is already yours. And until next time, bye-bye.